Hello again. Okay, now that we have talked about the front matter, we're going to talk about the back matter. And the back matter refers to the information you include, if any, in the last pages of your book. So much like the front matter, the back matter included in your book will just depend on the type of book you're publishing. It's not necessary to add any of this bit, um, but there are definitely some benefits to doing so. So some things you may want to add to the final pages of your book. Maybe you want to add a bibliography. You might want to add acknowledgments to people who helped or inspired you to write the book. You might include, if it's a nonfiction text, some definitions of some potentially unfamiliar words or uncommon concepts. Uh, you might include about the author info, such as a summary of your work or your accolades or personal reflections related to your book. Um, if you have a website, I recommend sticking a link to your website there. Why not? It just helps drive traffic and it step establishes credibility for you as an author if you have a website as well. If you have uh, social media links that are presented in a professional manner and are in harmony with your author persona, and we talked about that earlier. Um, if you have links, go ahead and add those to like Pinterest or Facebook or I don't know, LinkedIn or whatever you use. Um, and you can mention some of your other books. So for example, in some of my books on the last page, I do mention some of my other books that are similar that I think people might be interested in. Um, for example, people who purchase my daily planners and mindfulness journals might also be interested in my gratitude journals because they're you know of a similar genre. So I add pictures of the gratitude journal covers and then I just write something like, these can also be found on Amazon. Um, and then I say, please visit my website and I'll put a link to my website. Um, so again, much like the, the front matter, the back matter you use will just depend on the type of book you're publishing and you might not choose to include any of it. I just, I highly recommend that um, as you move forward in your, in your self-publishing adventure, the more books you publish, uh, refer to those books, mention those books in your next book, because it just, it drives traffic round, right? It just keeps things circling back. And um, yeah, and that's always a good thing. So I hope that helps. And I'll see you soon.